both similar in age. Obviously, the weight is similar. Zaf Bell is slightly heavier, but the record and experience advantage in favour of Andre McDonald, the boy from ETK. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three two-minute rounds of lightweight kickboxing action. It is sponsored by Crooks and Castles. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with white trim. He weighed in at 64.3 kgs, representing Oliver MMA. Introducing Ziff Bell! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner enters the ring wearing black trunks with red trim. He weighed in at 64.1 kgs, representing Elite Thai Kickboxing HQ. This is Andre McDaddy McDonald! Three two-minute rounds when the bell rings. Rebel John Conway is the referee in charge. John the Rebel Conway, third man in centre ring, just calling the boys into boys, centre ring. Away. Very experienced come fighter on. himself, John Conway, in a world-class right, guys, you know the rules have gone over them. I want you to both protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my instructions. And Obey unfortunately, my instructions. is Mike Sean, but uh, he'll be telling them to protect away, themselves at all times. Going so through fight. the Take rules, hands. remembering this is King down. in the Ring rules, there is no extended grapple. Two hands for, a, for one knee, and then you have to let go, and from there on, you just have to knee with the one hand. Andre McDonald from ETK HQ in the black shorts with the ETK hand. And uh, Zeph Bell straight down early, had a support leg cut. Well, Dan Hooker, we noticed straight away one of these guys is a southpaw. Yeah, so we've got an open stance fight uh, when you have a southpaw versus an orthodox fighter. So we'll be uh, looking to who's controlling the outside foot. So there's a bit of a battle of foot position here uh, and see who, who scores these early shots. There's a nice kick across the midsection there from Zef Bell looking for that right uppercut. McDonald looks to be nice, crisp combination fighter working the inside thigh bell going downstairs low if he throws the left hook off that right hand to the body that can work very well against the southpaw yeah so bell's got the right idea as a southpaw he's he's biding his time and he's he's setting up his big left kick whereas uh we've got the other boy oh, my mistake uh bell's a bit all over the show uh, doesn't it look like he's got too much experience fighting a southpaw. He should be focusing on his right hand and his right kick. Yeah, you just saw there he tried to step up with his left knee, and it's a lot harder for him to find that left knee with a step up. That was a very, very good straight right hand down the tubes. Has to be cautious with that lead leg left because it does open you up for a straight left counter. Nice uh, straight punches down the inside. Uh, Bell's leaving himself a little bit exposed. That was nice work with the right knee. Turned him into the corner and McDonald momentarily. He's been hurt and paused. Another right uppercut there from Bell. But uh, McDonald comes out firing. He's using a nice little check hook there to put Bell onto his left hand power side. Zeff Bell heading back to his corner. Albert Haymoli in his corner. Jason Suddy in the corner of Andre McDonald. Pretty spirited first round. It's going to be hard for the judges to score. Andre McDonald, lots of nice combination work. Good slick southpaw style. Jeff Bell definitely scored the harder shots. Yeah, McDonald's uh, landing the good cleaner shots and he, he looks to be the fighter that's preserving the most energy. Uh, Bell got off some good shots, but I think McDonald's the fresher fighter after that first round. That was a nice little good example of turning your man in the corner and he doubled up, same side, same side, right hand, right knee. Good work there from Zef Bell. Possibly that round nudged in the way of Andre McDonald, who looks like the cleanest scoring fighter. 
and uh, Fanta, former Lumpany Stadium fighter. One of the best in the world in his day in a very good Southport. Telling him to chop that back leg. Underway, Andre McDonald, the boy from ETK, coming out of the red corner and catapulted back in by a straight teep to the body. There was uh, just caught the leg there, caught him off balance. He's just a little chin up, isn't he, Dan, when he comes in with that, uh, that outside leg kick. McDonald's uh, very educated with his right hand, but uh, he's just starting to have a little bit of problem now. Bell coming with the right uppercut left hook. And he's starting to turn him off and put him more onto the right hand. Good straight right hand. And once again, takes him down to the canvas with the teeth. Yeah, Bell's a very good athlete. You know, he's, he's impressing me. He's, uh, he's getting caught off balance, but he's, he's coming back and he's landing clean shots where, where he's not technically in the right position, but he's but he's getting away with it on pure athleticism. Right. Yeah, not necessarily taking right. taking the right options at times, but uh, he's effective and he ha is landing the, the heavier shots. I think he's the heavier puncher of the two. McDonald's right. now starting to come on, just finding his rhythm right. a little more, particularly with that left knee to the body. Ada, long right hand there again from Bell. Looking for the high coup de gras knee up the middle. Yeah, so that experience and, and that efficiency will play dividends at the end of this round and in the third round. You know, he's, he's getting outlanded, but uh, he's running those shots down the middle and he's, he's preserving more energy. Both of these boys landing vicious knees to the midsection. Bell once again going with that left leg, using the teeth. McDonald slipping the right hand, hasn't been able to come back over the top of the left hand of his own as of yet. Bell, though, has been the aggressor in this round. Pushing forward, eats a straight left for his trouble there. But uh, good end to the round from Andre McDonald. But for my money, the work and the aggression of Bell has probably evened up the fight. We're all even Stevens heading into the third round. That's, of course, unofficial on our commentary card. Yeah, Bell did some great work. Uh, just sheer volume, I'd have to give him that round. Bit unorthodox, but he's landing clean shots and, and doing some beautiful work. Inside up, inside there's punches working. Yeah, everyone's coming, pushing away. Yeah. When you throw those combos, when it's coming in, throw that knee straight away. Yeah. You're waiting too long on that knee. He's open for the knee. Yeah. But the inside uppercut is working. Um, what am I back? On the knee, okay? Albert Hay Molly calling for the straight push, knee up push, the middle. Okay. Push, push, working push, well with the uppercut. I'd uh, tend not to have him going away with the straight right hand either. One thing with Jason Suddy, Dan, is uh, he's always been a very, very good motivator in his corner. He tends to know what fires him up, and he's doing a good job there with Andre McDonald, knowing he's going to have to push in this third and final. Yeah, definitely. Uh, McDonald's definitely got the right idea. Jason's bang on when he says he just needs more. He just needs more work, more volume, and a higher pace from McDonald. And uh, Bell, he is a little bit unorthodox, but uh, that unorthodoxy is catching McDonald. McDonald looks to be more of the technical of the two, but he's being put off balance by the aggression and the unorthodoxy of Zeph Bell. That was more of a push down with a left hook around the back of the head. Palm heel of the glove. Missed with that uppercut. Now looking for the knee. Rebel Conway in there breaks it up early. Jeff Bell's been forced back a lot. He needs to do a lot more. These are just two minute rounds. This is a curtain raise about. As we are awaiting the 68 kilo welterweight eight man just a few moments time third and final round Andre McDonald the EGK fighter in the red and black Zeph Bell walking forward in the black and white he's out of the blue corner Andre McDonald he, I'd just like to see him fire that left kick up high because he's getting Bell leaning into it caught up in the clinch there K1 rule so he has to let go 
Can't hold with the two hands and continue to knee. I remember earlier in the, uh, the fight I said, Dan, it, it probably wasn't normal tactics to be going with that left knee against the southpaw, but he's made it work for himself. I'd like to see McDonald go back to his kick. He's getting tied up here in the clinch, and I, I feel that Bell is getting the best of the clinch on the inside. So I'd like to see McDonald take a step back instead of rushing into that close range. Well, and there it is, the end of the third and final. Well, I suspect that the aggression and the superior strength of Zef Bell may have caused a minor upset against the ETK HQ fighter Andre McDonald. But there have been some close and torrid rounds as we head to the cards. Yeah, Bell's, he's landing some good unorthodox strikes in the clinch. Uh, he, he manages to get his head out of the way off angle and, and land these good overhands and, and awkwardly angled uh, clean punches. So he landed some great strikes in that. He, he might have pinched that, uh, that fight. Yeah, and also some very good work in, in the clinch where he had a little bit more strength and athleticism. He's just able to muscle Andre McDonald out of his technical style. He's certainly happy with himself. Coach Albert Hamouli and Fanta both looking pretty pleased with their fighter and we'll have the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of lightweight kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision where we find a split decision winner. Your winner fighting out of the blue corner, Seth. 